So today we're going to be checking out the weirdest weapons in all of Call of Duty, starting with Modern Warfare 2. Oh, God, I love that. When I think of weird and I think of Modern Warfare 2, I think of the F2000 because this thing doesn't even know what it wants to be. It's an assault rifle that looks like an SMG. So you know what I did with it? I threw on a thermal sight and a heartbeat sensor. That's a great idea. I haven't been on MW2 since I did the playing every Call of Duty video. So hopefully we're able to find a match. It is 1030 in the morning. So the odds of there being a legit match on here is probably slim to none. Just look how ugly this thing is. When you're asking somebody, what's the weirdest gun in Modern Warfare? Warfare 2. They will always say this gun because, oh my god, that recoil. Can't think of a situation where you would actually want to use this weapon. The recoil is nuts. The fire rate's insane. And on top of that, the magazine is small, so you really can't do much with it. You may ask Dismo, where's Call of Duty 1, 2, 3, four? But to be honest, most of those games don't even have a weird weapon, so I kind of wanted to start... Okay, Robert. I wanted to start with a Call of Duty that, in my personal opinion, actually has a weird weapon. We haven't seen the F2000 return since 2009 with Modern Warfare 2. There's a guy in here. Look at him. Why are you sitting in this building on MW2 in 2020? Okay, who's chilling in here? Look at him. Look at this guy. Lone shot. Dead. All right, let's watch him spawn. I'm going to wait for it. This is going to be rough. Oh, my God. It took an entire magazine to get one kill, but worth. Get out of here. Who else we want? Oh, my God. I almost missed every single shot. Oh, I got the three kill streak. I got the three kill streak. Ten and eight. That's better than I expected, to be honest. A time for Black Ops 1. Dang, there's actually almost 3,500 people on Black Ops 1 right now. So here we are in Black Ops 1, and I kind of ran into a dilemma. So as you can see, I only have 770 COD points. I'm broke, and I need to buy every single one of these weapons just to get to the G11. So sadly, we're not going to be able to use it, but go to combat training. We're quite literally going to be versing against bot. I was able to buy the Akimbo yeah! HS10s. I don't even remember using these as a kid. Bro, they're so bad. <laughs> Boom. Bro, I don't remember these things being that bad. Who's trying to film me right now? Who's trying to... This one. What? What double rainbow? Man, I really do miss Black Ops 1. This game was like my childhood. I had so much fun doing it. The Wa 2000 with the variable zoom. What is this? There's actually a lot more weirder weapons than I expected. Oh, look at him. You good, bro? Hey, you good? Don't even try it. Whoop! Boink! Who else want? What are you doing up there, my guy? MVP. When it comes to MW3, there's not a lot of weapons that are weird. Most of them are standard. Most of them are weapons that we've seen come back in Modern Warfare 2019. Except for the XM25, a grenade launcher with a sniper scope. Ooh, me and one other guy. The thing is, we have to find six more players on Modern Warfare 3, and I don't think it's going to happen. After about 10 minutes, I finally got a free-for-all match. There's a guy out right there. Hold up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, the weapon rank up sound in this game is just, it goes hard. There's quite literally no reason for this gun to exist other than, you know, they wanted to throw something in there. I can already see it. Imagine if this was the game. Hello? You real? Unless we're in a simulation. Yeah? <laughs> can I get a two kill streak? Imagine if like we had this in like a current Call of Duty. Imagine the challenges. It would be something stupid like get long shots with a grenade launcher. Like get ADSing kills while using the grenade launcher. This would be a hardcore weapon for sure. Yeah, <laughs> got a double kill. Mm, perfect. Nice. Two kill streak. Come in, walk in, walk in. Three kill streak. Ah! I'm gonna sit right here. This is my spot. Advanced UAV. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. Ah! And Black Ops 2. You have earned probation for quitting out of a public match games too often. <gasps> remember playing this game so for black ops 2 there's not many weird weapons in this game there's the crossbow ballistic knife not really that weird there is one weapon that caught my eye the executioner this is literally a shotgun pistol it's the marshal before the marshal get this guy right here <clears throat> no i'm not oh my god this thing is pretty bad the executioner to me just feels like it's a big magnum revolver instead of having bullets it just shoots shotgun shells i don't think there's a hacker in this game which is shocking to me and oh my god my accuracy hold that 
Got him. <laughs> Black Ops 2 C4s were so busted. I miss broken C4s. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. Please, no. I got him. Who else we got? I'm charging him. Yes, so it's a two shot. Yo, wait, this is actually kind of good. I like this. Oh, we're on a five kill streak. UAV's up. Oh, we're still going. Oh, we're still going. Oh my God, I'm shredding with this thing. Hold this. Yes, I'm still alive. Um, yep, I'm dead here. I'm dying here. I'm just slicing. I'm slicing until, and I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah, he's cheating. Never mind. There actually was a cheater. When I think of Call of Duty Ghosts, and I think of weird weapons, I immediately go to the chainsaw. Wait, the chainsaw can have attachments? Silencer, muzzle break, a grenade launch? I'm sold. I have nightmares about playing this game. Oh, my God. My team is dead. Hold that. Oh, hit marker? Hit marker it again. Okay, peek me. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Bro, I don't even see any. It's so hard to see people. Oh, there he is. Yes, nice little two-piece. Imagine if I get a chem strike right here. What is he shooting right now? Wait, what is that? Yeet. Got him. Oh, oh, oh. Launchers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's the war machine before the war machine. It shoots semtexes? I never knew that this was a thing. And it's a two-round burst? Is that what we want to call it? I don't even know. This takes the cake as the weirdest weapon. I'm going up here. I'm going to try to get this guy. I'm getting one kill, and then we're off to the next game. Got him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's not good. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and here we are in Advanced Warfare. The NA-45 semi-automatic two-round fire system primer explodes when the catalyst hits nearby. That just sounds stupid. Yes. I think we're just gonna rock with the blunderbuss. Bro, is that a cat cut in half? How brutal. What the fuck? Wait, it says don't knife me. I mean, I mean it looks like you. I'm like, he's sad. I thought this gun was weird because how it works is not like any other sniper. You literally had to shoot that and then you just chill and you wait. It's like a built-in explosive sniper. I'm gonna try to get one kill with it. We have the blunderbuss as well, which doesn't make any sense for a super futuristic game. But hey, now that we're getting into the supply drop era of Call of Duties. Ooh, I got him. I hit him. No, no, no. Where are you at? It's stuck to him. There it is. Hold up. No. Damn it. Bro, it's so bad. Literally, you have to hit two shots with it. Oh, all right. Just get a quick scope with it, I guess. Now that we're getting into like the supply drop era. Hold up. There we go. Perfect. Now that we're getting into the supply drop era of Call of Duty, we're going to have a lot more weapons to check out. Advanced Warfare is when weapons and everything that we knew basically started to change. You know, with supply drops being added in, there's so much room for a whole bunch of creative stuff. Ooh. What's up, buddy? And, okay, you shot me behind a wall. Hello? There's a guy. That That's my teammate. Oh, uh, uh, Dude, what is happening? Come here. Don't you run from me. And he's dead. I can't get a kill. Here we go. Boom. And I missed. That's not good. Three load takes forever. Boom. Got him. Next up, the XFGs. Can't think of another Call of Duty, another weapon that has built in a Kimbo on LMG. This quite literally looks like they just took like a mech robot's machine guns, ripped off the arms, and just put it onto a human. Toggle lockdown mode, and now I'm just a stationary turret. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And no, oh, and I'm dead. Can't play Advanced Warfare without using a laser gun. Oh my god! We also got the R1 scoped pistol, which is basically like a sniper built into a pistol with one round. And that was a hit marker. Okay. I mean, it is a pistol. Come on, peek it. Hip. Okay, this thing is trash. Okay, there's a hit marker. That's fine. Ah, oh, I'm scared. Where's he at? Got him. Perfect. Black Ops 3. I feel like there's just going to be too many weapons in this game to kind of choose from. Black Ops 3, in my opinion, has some of the most unique DLC and normal weapons, period. So I think we're going to rock with the DIY Renovator. This is literally a nail gun. Like, it literally just shoots nails. And then, of course, the D13 Sector. It has to be the D13 Sector. One of the coolest and most unique weapons, period. All right, so we got the DIY Renovator. Literally shoots nails. Like, you can literally see the nails in this. Oh, Peek me now, pussy. Let's go. Bring it. This is part of the reasons why I love Black Ops 3 so much. Like, because Black Ops 3 wasn't, like, locked behind, like, a time period. It was able to do weird and goofy things like this, and it made sense. It wasn't like having a World War II game and then put lasers in it. <laughs> 
get off that wall, bro. Is that the Brecky? Feels so good to be back on this game. Black Ops 3 is just, ah, uh, it's that game. Oh. Okay. I wish I could play Black Ops 3 more. Obviously, because I've played it so much and there isn't anything new to do in the game, it's going to be hard for me to actually play it as a whole. But still. Oh. And I'm dead. And you guys all know the D13 sector. This is like probably my favorite weapon in Call of Duty history. You can shoot this thing across the map. It will go flying for ages. It'll bounce off your teammates and it like that and get a long shot. What? It just goes to show how unique and creative Black Ops 3 was. Oh my God. Yes. Ah, two piece. Watch this. Three, six. Oh, broke his ankles. What? Oh my God. I didn't want to just use the DIY renovator in the D13 sector because Black Ops 3 has a plethora of unique and crazy weapons like the Banshee, which is basically a shotgun sniper. It shoots balls of energy that just seem to endlessly go on with no range cap. And then there's a pistol equivalent called the Rifty 9, which basically does the same thing, but a lot weaker. It's not as good. Ooh. Goodbye. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. What are you doing? Why are you standing still? Oh. Oh, no, that's little three. Hey, Ooh. Got him. Got him. Quad feed. Peek me. No. My quad. No. I missed. One. Two. Three. Anybody else for the four? And shot my back. Oh. This is what I do! Yo, that's Dismo! Dismo, that's yo, Dismo! Me. Yo, Dismo, can you please talk, bro? Yo, what's up, dude? Yo, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yo, is that Dismo? <laughs> no, I knew it! What's wrong with him, bro? No way, that's him! <laughs> Dismo, yo, Dismo! Yo, is this you? Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? Oh my god, I've been watching these since 2016. Hey, hey, I appreciate you, homie. That's a good way to end Black Ops 3. What's up, Captain Price? I know, you still don't want to be in this game. <laughs> So Infinite Warfare has a ton of like weird like variants and weird weapons. There's nothing that's like super, super crazy. Like variants itself on these weapons can kind of like make things crazy. Like they can change the RPR Evo to the Ripper from Call of Duty Ghost or give you a perk that allows you to get bonus damage for shooting people in the dick. I think I'm gonna have to go with the RVN. It's a two round burst gun that then if you hold triangle, turns it into a melee weapon. And we got the blowout. Melee hits in alt mode create a cone explosion. Ooh, I wanna try that. And I already know what is the weird weirdest weapon in this entire game the venom x so here is the rvn you know just an energy rifle but then you hold down triangle boom melee weapon oh that looks so cool and then we have the venom x this thing is just so weird bro ew the sack first things first is we need to get a melee kill with this i'm punching someone man this, dude the static is so loud nope leave me alone leave me alone boom boom <laughs> i don't even know how this gun works all i know is it's super weird there we go there we go, we got a kill, yes! Ah! Say what you want about Infinite Warfare. I think this game was just underrated. Like, I don't think it was an awful game. Oh, I got him, let's go. I don't think this game is awful. I say this every single time I come back. I just think it got released at the wrong time. I think Infinity War killed it on this game. Yo, I low-key wanna get Black Sky on this. 35,000 likes and I'll get Black Sky on this Venom X. Goodbye, robot. Oh, missed, I missed. It's okay, he's gonna die to the poison, perfect. And, okay, my screen is just flashing. I'm gonna die. I'm a, I, ah! oh. oh, I got him still. Boom. Oh, this is perfect. One, go, two, yes. Ow. I think the weirdest thing about this Venom X is just the reload itself. Like, what is that? Oh, I got him. Is he going to die from it? Oh, it's like, a, it works like a Semtex. Oh, I got him. Yes, you're gone. I know I said I wasn't gonna do COD 4 because there really wasn't any weird weapons in the game. So we're on Modern Warfare Remastered because it actually has some weird stuff. Weirdest ones to me are the Akimbo Rangers, the BR-9 pistol, which looks like a gun from World War II. I've actually never used it. And then the tribal melee weapon. This thing just looks demonic. Boom, boom. Keep coming. Where are they at? Boom, boom. Oh, nope, that's not good. Reload, 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 reload. No! Grenade! Boink, boink. Come on. Let me get the feed. And, I've <laughs> and then you got the RB9 pistol. I've actually never seen this, and I didn't even know what it was. I mean, it's not bad. Oh, perfect. Oh, it actually kind of kills quick. Oh, my God. Oh, got him. Got him. There's the airstrike. Yo, I'm clapping some cheeks with this pistol. Come here. 
No. I... Bro, the disrespect on that one. Melee weapon time. Oh, this thing looks so weird. I'm dodging. I'm dodging bullets. Come here. Come here. There's one. There's two. Who else wants some? Oh. Oh, this is it. This is... No! Oh. There's a triple. Go. Go. No. Okay. I'm done. No. I got a quadra kill. That counts. I got the quad feed. So, um, I forgot World War II existed. I was literally sitting here editing the entire video, and I was like, something's missing. Turns out, it was just World War II. So this is the class setup that we're gonna be using. We got the glorious blunderbuss, then we got the crossbow with the tribal and explosive tips. How weird can it get? I remember when both these weapons came out because the blunderbuss I was actually obsessed with and I used it all the time. It, it's actually like in the top like six most viewed videos of my channel. There's a guy out there. Boom, double kill. Boom. <laughs> Ow, what the? F All right, going close quarters. Gotta get the, oh. Big Papa really do be putting in some work on them staircases. Holy shit. Bro, where is everybody? I'm like just running around this entire map and I can't find anybody. Perfect. Oh my God, they don't know. There's one. Crossbow time. There's two. Come on, make it three. Nice. Can we get the quad feed? Where's it at? All right, now we just take 10 seconds to reload. This guy coming, oh. Mm -hmm. Try me again. Got you, pussy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, they just keep coming! Chill, bro! I feel like there's another guy in here somewhere. Is he up top? Oh, he's up top for sure. Look at him. Look at him. What? <laughs> oh, they're right below us. Oh, it's... Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Uh, reload, reload. Oh, shit! Ah! Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, bro, chill! Uh, oh, uh, I'm just getting bent over and pinned down by these zombies. What? Hey, bitch, I <laughs> I fucking see you too. This one motherfucker nigga wanna hide behind a tree with a fucking crossbow. Oh pussy ass nigga. Like why the fuck you hiding behind your teammate, bro? Call of Duty done produced a whole lot of bitch ass players. It's like bitches out the bitches on top of bitches. Learning from other bitches. I'm like, why? I mean full disrespect when I call motherfuckers bitches. <laughs> Ah, and we're back to my second child, Black Ops 4. Can't really think of a lot of, like, crazy, unique, weird weapons. I mean, we have the Micro MG, which literally is a minigun converted into an SMG. For a secondary, I, I think I'm gonna have to give it to probably the zombie hand, the backhander. So I've heard there's issues right now with Black Ops 4 and that the game is basically dead, that it's very hard to find a match. Too many players have joined your party. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, is Black Ops 4 actually busted? Damn. Yeah, I, I, I regret to inform you guys that I, I think Black Ops 4 is broken. Here is the uh, minigun. I, I think it's the weirdest weapon in this game because there's literally not a single weapon like it. There's no SMG minigun equivalent in any other Call of Duty. They released this gun during Modern Warfare 2019's like, life cycle, so not a lot of people really knew about it. I didn't even make a video on it or use it until I came back like for a throwback COD video. And then we have the zombie melee weapon, the hand, which I mean, I've never really used this. Oh, it has its own, like, unique weapon inside. That's so cool. Yo, that's sick. Boink. I don't think I'm mentally prepared to use this. <laughs> Here's the Scar Eagle's Talon. I don't even know how this is going to work. I'm pretty sure I already made a video on this variant or this class setup before because I did, like, a whole, like, small series of using weird weapons in Modern Warfare. I'm making it my goal. I need one grenade launcher kill and then some kills with the gun. Then I'll be good to go. Oh, my God. He was bee hopping. Where is he? Boom. Got it. Perfect. Over here. Oh my god, it's actually not bad. The recoil is manageable. Like, it just has a small magazine, which is, like, probably its biggest downside. But this is, like, surprisingly one of the times where, like, a weird weapon isn't bad. Oh, I stand corrected. Maybe I'm just bad. Hold up. Let me... Ah! Oh my god, that was atrocious, man. Oh, he's looking for me. Going up top. And shotgunned. Okay. Oh, there's a guy in that window. Peek me. Peek me, bro. I'm ready. Yes, let's go! Now it's time for the anime Colossus Sniper Shotgun Odin thing. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, nope, that's not good. Underbrow. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, it's actually working! Challenge me. Do it. I dare you. I'm ready. Oh my god, there. There's one. Peek me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yelp. <laughs> Got you. Oh my god, this underbrow shotgun is sick. Ooh! Ooh. Got him! Perfect. Oh, where's he at? I can't even hit anything. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. No. Oh, no. Someone's coming. Oh, how am I still alive? One's in the pool. 
Find you. Damn it. So here we are in some Black Ops Cold War now. And to be honest, this game really doesn't have a lot of crazy weapons. The top two things I could think of was the UGR with the explosive rounds and then uh, the nail gun. Because they, they added a legit nail gun. And yeah, that, that, that's about it. Let's go check it out. So here's the UGR. Why does Dark Matter Ultra look so clean here? Perfect. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. Woo! Oh, my God. Wait, this gun's actually kind of nice. Like, the recoil's easy. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Okay. Popping off. Mom, get the camera. Yo, hold up. I want to see how high of a kill streak I can go on. When they first added the nail gun to Cold War, I was actually so excited because I was like, man, they're finally doing it. Cold War's going to get some really goofy and weird weapons. The game's going to kind of give me that BO3 type of vibe. Nah, because all the special weapons that came out in this game, they didn't allow it to have attachments. So that was like the biggest, that was like the biggest downfall of this game was that when they did add cool things, they didn't let it do anything cool. I'm scared. I am scared. Daddy, chill. Come on, man. Every single time I'm clapping daddy's cheek. Whoa, whoa. Get out of here. Boom. Boom. Watch this. Boom, boom, boom. Everywhere. Dead. Get out of here, buddy. Yo, imagine if I get a nuke. Ow. Annihilator time. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, keep it going. Keep it going. No. Yo, you're not hiding up here, are you? You are. You're gone. Oh. Oh, we're on a 21. We're not going to get it. No. 22. I'm dead. No. And finally, we're here at our final Call of Duty, Vanguard. And to be honest, this game has nothing weird about it. Up until about two weeks, three weeks ago, when they added in the laser gun and the knife pistol. You fucking man. I can't get my fucking hand. Are you good, man? Dude, there's always fucking two or three of the motherfuckers. <laughs> This is, John is not having a good day. There's not really much for me to say about Vanguard and weird weapons. I really hope Modern Warfare 2 actually has some really goofy and weird things because it's going to suck if I have another year where I can't make goofy class setups because that's what I love doing. Bro, I am popping off right now, though. This dude's name is Post Nut Syndrome. Come on, peek it again. You're going to peek this right side and you're going to get your shit rocked. Told you. And then the atomic knife pistol gun thingy. Oh my god, three bullets, point blank. Okay, Teddy, stop. Stop, just take it. Yo, yo, don't run. Got you. <laughs> oh my god. Sit right here. Wait for him to walk past. Okay, there's one. There's gonna be one more. There's not. I'm going for it. And what? Oh my god, how am I still alive? Oh. No, no! I've not dropped a nuke in every single Call of Duty twice. I've played every single Call of Duty. And I have now used almost every single weird weapon that is available in Call of Duty. Oh my god, I need Modern Warfare 2 like now. <laughs>